Hey guys, welcome to another Pokemon unboxing! This time it is Hoopa, which is awesome. This... That was lucky, I nearly fell off. This is to celebrate the recently released, in Japan of course, Hoopa Pokemon. It's, what is it? Hoopa, the Arch Gen of Rings and... I don't remember the Japanese title. Hoopa and the many hoops of Hoopa. But let's get straight into this as I knock the light. We have the usual backings. Don't don't choke on it. Just don't. I've warned you enough times now. Uh, we have the Hoopa, the Moncali. He is 0.5 meters tall and 9 kilograms in weight. The knife of unboxing. Knife of unboxing never actually helps. It actually helps a lot. Don't copy me. I'll say this every time, but seriously don't. I'm an idiot with a knife. Don't copy the idiot on the internet who has a knife. Of all the people on the internet to copy, it's not the idiot with a knife. Ooh, that just, like, cut there instead. See? Look, I just nearly stabbed myself. Role model right here. Come on. We just want to get into it. Without being like really violent. Oh, the cell tape on the top. Gagra! Does that while holding knife. Genius. Okay, we get rid of box, we look at generic advert that is in every single thing, sample, pop that out, throw away packaging, and we look at the Hoopa figure, which comes with its own little stand, which, how do you do this? Like that, is my guess? I don't know actually. Hmm. Oh, right. It's way more simple than I was giving it credit for. No, am I wrong? Ah, no. It fits like that. Fair enough. That makes sense. So you can actually have it to stand. Which I'll have it give you a zoom in of it standing. Uno momento. Let's move Mr. Unboxing Knife out of the way. Let's have a look at the Hoopa figure himself. The arms are technically not attached. And this is... Oh, that's a bit warped. But anywho. Uh, yeah, you have uh, your hoops. And your hoop. And your very nice little tail wisp. Like a... Gin, which is what it's designed after. The arms not being attached, but attached to that so that they don't just get lost. Made in China. Rings on the horns. Very nicely designed. I very much like it. I don't know, Hoopa's... It's a weird one. I didn't like it at first, but it kind of grew on us. More and more. And I'm very excited for the movie. Even though it is just a battle royale of all the legendaries, which apparently culminates in the universe nearly destroying itself, which you should expect, really. Okay, so if you look, it has like a little indentation for that to fit on. And the indentation, I should point out there for the ring. So it fits nicely, not loose at all. Uh, where's the thing so I can move the camera down? There we go. So we have a nice front shot, left hand shot, back shot. A bit of paint on the back there, but that's fine. 
A bit of pin missing on the ring there. And right hand shot. And may as well show you. I can't really do this without fingers, but underneath. And close enough to on top. Actually, I can do it underneath, can't I? Another angle for on top. Yeah, so that was just a quick little video, about five, six minutes, just to show off this cool figure. There is one more I'm doing after this. This is that is a little bit more special to do with the Hoopla movie, although for how relevant it is in the movie, but it was shown a lot. Anywho, you'll see in the next one. But I hope you enjoyed that. Hope you enjoyed seeing this really cool looking figure. Has a lot of attitude. I say that a lot, but it is a very good thing to see that type of thing in figures. That bent, warped ring is really annoying us. But anywho, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!